But she goes up to some homeless guy, gets out of her car to give him clothes and stuff. Then goes over to the paparazzi and tries to get them to give stuff. But here she is talking to the guy in the wheelchair. What size feet do you have? What do you mean? What size feet do you have? Can I buy your shoes for him? Oh, how, what, what kind of, what, what is it? He needs a shoe. Yeah, but what kind of shoe? Uh, what, what size? Ten and a half. Oh. What size feet do you have? So, a uh, hundred dollars. <laughs> That's Jennifer feet. Garner speaking to a paparazzo? I thought it was, but she says she's, it says talking to a homeless man in a wheelchair. Oh, okay, so this is her I don't know. conversation. And I've read it twice, so I'm not sure. I've read it two ways. I've read it... Can I say something that's very cynical of me? Usually when this stuff is recorded, it's recorded on an iPhone a block away. Mm -hmm. Can you play back the actuality? This sounds like a professional mic in the middle of the situation. Here's what it says. Here's what it says. She leaned out of the window, handed a bag of stuff to some homeless guy in a wheelchair. Then she got out of the car, put socks on his feet, tried to give him her shoes, but they didn't fit. Well, duh. So she went to the guy who was staying there recording her oh. Oh, okay. and asked if she could buy his shoes oh. for this guy. What size feet do you have? What do you mean? What size feet do you have? Can I buy your shoes for him? Oh, how, what, what kind of, what, what is it? He needs a shoe. Oh. Yeah, but what kind of shoe? Uh, what, what size? Ten and a half. Okay. So the guy holding the phone gave her his shoes. That's some quality audio. Yeah. Paparazzi. Well, that was nice to him. No, he's just a guy. Who's oh, he's just the phone. a guy. He gave her his shoes and a blanket, a shirt, and some pants oh. he had. Well, you and then tore he slid down. her naked in the street. <laughs> <laughs> you tore down all my lines. Okay, that, that's Sorry. a good thing. That's that was fine. very nice. Leslie Jones is friends with Chris Rock. She says after he got slapped by Will Smith, he had to go to counseling with his daughters. She said that mm, was humiliating. It really affected him. People need to understand that his daughters, his parents, all saw that. Hmm. She said, I was so effing mad on so many levels. She was disappointed that Will didn't apologize that night to Chris Rock. <sighs> still looks fake to me. Oh, I know Jimmy, it's not. still Come holding on. on to that. Let's it happened. Move on from that. It happened. Come I know. On. It and for, you know, I'm not speaking no for way. Chris Rock. I would imagine, you know, within your family, you were, you were, you were brought up a certain way. Chris Rock was uh, part of a big, big family hard-working um, mother and father and a certain, I don't know, avenue of old-schoolness that standing on stage and getting smacked would probably be earth-shattering your ego. Yeah, I mean, it, it had really to be would. super embarrassing. Mm -hmm. Right. What was because he supposed to do? Smack back, but unfortunately... No, no he did the right math. The he right looked thing. at Will Smith and went, okay, we'll make this a one-episode gig. And don't you yeah. think you'd be in shock that Will Smith just smacked me on yeah. national TV? Because that's yeah. not normal. No. That's celebrity news. This is Dave and Jimmy. You're listening to the number one rated morning zoo. With Dave and Jimmy. WNCI. Dua Lipa from Barbie.